I was working the emergency room earlier this month, and we had a um, patient came in, a busy day, it was a Monday, it was August 1st, dental pain as we have often had. And in previous times, you just kind of make a judge, you know, there's, she didn't have dental care, her teeth are bad shape, she needed pain medicines. Your instinct was, this doesn't seem right, but how do, you know, you don't want to, you want to give someone the benefit of the doubt, you want to, and you want to move forward. I was actually, I, so I've enrolled in, in the uh, St. Louis County PDMP program. So I actually looked this individual up. And um, the, the threshold, the alert threshold is three prescribers in three pharmacies for controlled substances the last six months. This patient actually had uh, received prescriptions written by 38 prescribers and had them filled at nine different pharmacies. And that was just factual information. It was an opportunity to have an entirely different conversation with her, which was not possible in years past and actually say do you, you know do you have a problem we have think you know, i meant evan schwartz will be speaking would say do you have a are you have a, a problem you know that we can help you with it's not you know certainly needed dental care but needed something else and st louis county executive steve stenger has been an advocate for the st louis he, he got it rolling with his county council and that would not have been possible without your support and help and there's <laughs> You help people in those individual patient interactions that really need assistance and allow the conversation to be different and really focus in on what, what they need. So um, St. Louis County Executive Steve Stenker. Thank you, Dr. Jotty. I appreciate that. And thank you all very much for uh, allowing me to come and speak today. As St. Louis County Executive, and um, really as part of county government, our job in, in, in large part is to improve and protect the health and safety of all of our residents. And of course, the reason that we are here today is that right now we face a great health crisis in opioid addiction, as, as we all know. And opiate fatalities in St. Louis County have continued to increase. Opiates accounted for 148 deaths in the county in 2015 and 181 in 2016. In just the first quarter of 2017, there were 67 opiate deaths in the county. And those figures would have been higher had we not begun supplying Narcan last year to the St. Louis County Police Department to reverse overdoses. Our county police successfully used Narcan to save 41 people in 2016 and 16 so far in 2017. And anecdotally, uh, what we're seeing is we're sort of seeing repeat customers. We're seeing the same people having visits to their, to their homes by our St. Louis County Police and Narcan is being administered to them multiple times. The St. Louis County Medical Examiner also reports the significantly increased amount of fentanyl that is contributing to these deaths, which also mirrors a national trend. This epidemic, we, we call it a spreading plague in the county, is also taking a staggering toll on productivity, not to mention public safety. And the scourge does not play favorites. Opioid addiction does not recognize race, neighborhood borders, or social standing. The crisis is so pervasive that many of you, we all know addicts. Perhaps you're related to one, and I certainly was. My nephew, Mitch Stenger, was a heroin addict. And Mitch was a good kid from a loving and supportive family. He was talented, he was smart, he was strong, but he was no match for today's heroin. Mitch's addiction followed what is a common path we all know to heroin use. He started taking opioid pain pills in high school and after an injury. And before long, he switched to heroin, which was cheap, it was available, and it was potent. He tried repeatedly to beat his addiction, but in 2014, he suffered a fatal heroin overdose. He was only 23 years old. By the time I took office in 2015, this epidemic had strained the resources of the healthcare providers and police agencies in the St. Louis region. A political response was also called for. 
Our legislators in Jefferson City proved unable to pass a prescription drug monitoring program, and so we confronted the, the crisis head on. And that was a decision that uh, came from a, a great deal of, of debate and discussion, and we just felt that uh, we needed to move forward, and, and we sort of thought a little bit out of the box and thought, well, if we started in our county and we make it so that others can join us, and we, and we have, we've created a program that is uh, extremely accessible. It's, uh, it's, it's very easy to join, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. So at my urging, the St. Louis County Council approved legislation, we drafted the legislation, and created a prescription drug monitoring program for the county. And as you probably know, as, you, as I'm certain you know, prescription drug monitoring programs help prevent individuals from receiving multiple prescriptions for the same controlled substances, making it more difficult for these drugs to be abused or to be obtained by illicit drug dealers. 49 states have these drug programs. Uh, they require doctors and pharmacists to enter all prescriptions into a database, and they have drastically cut pill shopping wherever such legislation has been enacted. And just think about that. We're the last state in the union to not have a statewide plan. In light of the obvious benefits of PDMPs, we simply could not wait for the legislature to act. And of course, a PDMP also makes it possible for medical doctors and pharmacists, as we just heard, to spot a potential problem that deserves a closer look and acts as an early warning system for prescribers to avoid dangerous drug interactions as well. We designed our PDMP, as I said, so that other counties or jurisdictions would be able to contract with St. Louis County for the service. And I will tell you that our response has been terrific. Since we started our program, other counties, and these, these, these are some great numbers, representing 69% of Missouri's population have joined St. Louis County's fully functional PDMP. In addition, 85% of medical providers in Missouri are now participating in the program. And we are starting to see results. And this is another anecdote, but last week we heard from a pharmacist that our PDMP flagged someone that had seen 18 different providers and used eight pharmacies in the last six months for opioid prescriptions. So that'll just give you a great example of what we've been able to, to flag. PDMPs are effective, but clearly much more is needed. And sharing information at conferences like this is key to stemming this epidemic. So I thank you all very much for attending and participating. And again, thank you for inviting me to speak and to share my perspective on the crisis. Uh, I know we have a long fight ahead of us, but nevertheless, we are committed and we are truly making progress. So thank you.